What can you do now? And there's a lot of things that you can do. First of all, what does work for a lot of people with Parkinson's is uh, the idea to accept the diagnosis. I don't mean to accept the disease and I don't mean to live with the disease, but I mean accept the diagnosis and know that you still have to stay as active as possible to maintain your interests, to maintain your hobbies as much as possible. For you to take a control in uh, self-education, to learn as much as possible about the disease, its symptoms, its progression, possible planning for the future, but also to be able to understand those symptoms, understand circumstances when they appear or disappear. Medications management is very, very important. And for you to be on time, understand effect medications as well as side effects on your functioning and how to manage it. But also, what is very, very important for you to know where you can get help from. For example, where the expert in Parkinson's disease, not only the specialist specialized in Parkinson's disease, but other health professionals, therapists, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, social worker, um, dietitian, and others. Why it's important? Because they will have knowledge to share with you. You will have your knowledge about your Parkinson's to share with them. And together, in collaboration with other non-medical health professionals, you can work out the best ways to keep yourself active and delay the progression of disease or disability. So self-awareness, self-education, empowerment, um, cognitive behavioral therapy that we people with Parkinson or without Parkinson can implement on our own initiative or under our own initiative. Understand and recognize your negativity and replace it with positivity. Another also aspect is uh, that fatigue, um, depression, uh, anxiety and stress, you are in power of controlling it but first of all you need to recognize those symptoms and by uh, self-education as well as alternative therapies like relaxation meditation stress management maybe swimming maybe dancing maybe clowning whatever suits you as a human being this actually can help you to reduce that stress reduce that fatigue to find the balance between work and leisure which is very important what else? Well, that, I, that I did. Yes. Reduce my work uh, load. Reduce the workload. And not only reduce, and, but uh, maybe modify it. And I work more freely. And more freely. Like what I'm doing now. Yes, exactly. And I, I choose the pace. Mm. I do, yes. Uh, and also to know your time of medications and maybe modify your duties or hours the way that when it's time for your medications, when you're slowing down, for you to have that break then and there. To allow yourself listen to your body, allow yourself a break there. If you're working for a company, for employee or employer, so for you to discuss with that employer through occupational therapy modifications in your duties and hours. Still to maintain the employment, which is very, very important for you as a normal human being, living with Parkinson's, yes, but for you to maintain it as well as to have those feelings of satisfaction as well as contribution to society. It's all normal human needs. Also, what I believe in open communication, you with your families and with your friends, because the more you know, the more you share with them, uh, you reduce their stress and anxiety. They don't step in when you don't need it. They allow you to um, and, and um, sort of for you to help yourself. Uh, they respect you as you are, they love you as you are. But the more they understand from you, about you and your Parkinson's, the better they will cooperate with you, help you where necessary or stay back when necessary. Uh, how is that going to slow the progression? So how, first of all, it will reduce the stress between you and your partner and your friends. Secondly, it won't isolate you. It will maintain your social network in, it will maintain your social interest and for you to feel that people understand you. Parkinson's disease or symptoms of Parkinson's are worse when we are under stress, when we are tired, when we are not understood by others. So how can it reduce the progression? By reducing the stress, the reducing, reducing the tension and extra negativity or negative aspects of Parkinson's, it's actually 
keeps you in better control of symptoms and actually it's a human being nature. It actually delays the brain wearing off either as well. So medications are working, you are in control of your emotions, you are actually delaying the progress of the disease. Yes, relaxation. Swimming. Why not to take swimming? And any remedies? Remedies? In regards to herbs? In regards to herbs? Vitamins? In regards to whatever. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll eat uh, yes? shit if I have to. <laughs> That's what I've done well, already. And and honestly, and it's not the first time that my patients do ask me about that. Remedies. I advise my patients, whatever works for them, is a trial and error, but before you take any remedies, do speak to your specialist, specialized in Parkinson's, yes? Why? To see if there is any contraindications. I'm good at trying things, but I'm good. not very systematic. Can you say something about That is the, another the... way of, uh, we, if we try things, first of all, do not try everything straight away together. Try one thing at a time for a certain period of time. Why? Because some things do take time to work, okay? Therefore, if you are trying any herb, first of all, check with your specialist if it doesn't contract with your medications, primary medications. Therefore, try it for one week or two weeks. And try to keep a record of that. And keep your diary, because for you to notice a small couple of lines, a couple of words, how do you feel then and there when you started that herbs or you started that relaxation or any other meditation or any other alternative therapies do it for two three weeks and stop why to see the difference or you can do on your current medication record keep records in your diary circumstances time and this and that for a couple of weeks then introduce your new alternative therapy for a couple of weeks and stop and see compare the data why I keep uh, in, encouraging my patients with Parkinson's to keep the diary? Because you and me, we're normal human beings. We're not computerized. We don't have computerized brains. We cannot remember everything. But the book, what you've written down, actually helps you. Some people have trauma or some people have difficulties holding pen and writing things. Therefore, I encourage them, video record yourself or ask the feedback from your loved ones or video recording, like audio recording, or typing on computer, but keep records in any form or shape to help you to go back and compare with and without your remedies.